this book is called Underwear. Zachary Zebra did not like buttons or snaps or sleeves or slippers or zillions of zippers. But he did like underwear. He liked all kinds of underwear in all colors and prints and styles. His best friend, Orpho the orangutan, loved underwear too. Every year, Orpho took a barge from Borneo to see Zachary. Together, they went to the world's greatest grassland underwear fair. Each time, Zachary and Orpho bought as much underwear as they possibly could. They bought orange spotted underwear and underwear with palm trees and bananas. They bought zebra striped underwear, leopard spotted underwear, and underwear with fish and monkeys and kangaroos and elephants and colorful grassland flowers. Zachary wore underwear with underwear on it. Orpho wore underwear with people on it. Sometimes they wore their underwear all at once. Not everyone thought underwear was fun. Bismarck the buffalo refused to like underwear. He was not a very happy buffalo. Bismarck didn't smile or laugh or tell silly jokes. And he certainly did not want to wear underwear anywhere. Buffalo don't wear underwear, bellowed Bismarck. said Igor the egret. He strutted on Bismarck's back, happily popping bugs into his beak. Fun, ha, boomed Bismarck. Buffalo don't need to have fun. An egret, that's that bird right there. Everyone needs to have fun, said Igor. Is underwear better than mud holes, asked Bismarck. Not quite, said Igor. Can you run faster in underwear? asked Bismarck. Hardly, said Igor. Can you eat underwear? asked Bismarck. I never have, said Igor. There, yelled Bismarck, underwear is useless. Meanwhile, Orpho and Zachary were having a great deal of fun wearing all of their underwear everywhere they possibly could. But Bismarck grew grumpier and grumpier. In fact, he was so grumpy that the bugs on his back flew off to find a nicer buffalo. Buffalo don't need bugs, thundered Bismarck. I do, said the irked egret. He flew away to find another buffalo. Bismarck was all alone. The grassland animals felt a little sorry for the gloomy buffalo. He's a sad case, said Orpho. He's good at finding grass, offered Zachary, but not good at keeping bugs, added Igor. It is a tragedy, said Zachary, to be clever but not happy. He doesn't want to be happy, said Orpho, or he doesn't know how, sighed Igor, thinking about the lost bugs.
Buffalo don't need to be happy, snorted Bismarck, who had wandered over to graze. Hmm, said Zachary. Suddenly he had an idea. Maybe you're right. I bet you can't laugh. Even if you say the word underwear ten times. Buffalo don't laugh, said Bismarck. There is a danger, of course, said Orpho. You might not be able to stop laughing. Nonsense, said Bismarck. You might be silly and tell jokes, warned Ego. I'll say it, and I won't laugh, or barked Bismarck. I won't be silly, and I won't tell jokes, and I won't have fun. I won't. I won't. about to say it, the word. Here he goes. Underwear. He scowled. I'm not laughing yet. Underwear. I won't laugh. Underwear. <laughs> Underwear. Oh dear. Underwear. Ha <laughs> ha Oh, that feels good. Underwear. Hee hee ho. Ha ha. Underwear. Hee <laughs> Underwear. 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 Ha ha ha. Try as he could, Bismarck could not keep a straight face when he said the word underwear. To this day, he laughs and he tells silly buffalo jokes. The bugs are back. Bismarck is a cheerful friend whenever anyone is sad and lonely. And of course, old Bismarck the buffalo loves underwear as much as anyone else. The end.